Sarah Siskind, welcome to Country Pocket. Well, thanks for having me. Um, so let, let's get uh, let's get the uh, niceties out of the way first. Um, how has your quarantine been? Well, it's been up and down, like I think most of you know the country and the world. It has its moments of um, real challenge, but for the most part, I'm trying to roll with the flow, and it's all right. Well, um, I think we're in luck because without knowing it, I I believe you wrote a couple songs almost about the challenge we're facing. Um, And uh, the one I'm picking out for the first discussion is um, In the Mountains, which uh, talks about, I believe, uh, uh, sort of the way that solitude and just journey, whether it's physical or emotional, can allow you to grow. Yes, that's put perfectly. Yes, I wrote In the Mountains um, right after I left Nashville, Tennessee, after living there for many years, I moved back east, and I originally lived in Virginia for several years, and then after that came back to my home state of North Carolina, where I am now. But you're right, I I felt like um, I belonged in a smaller community than Nashville. It was just really flaring my anxiety, and um, so when I moved to really what's rural country in Virginia, I had a really different lifestyle to get used to, Um, but I loved it. Uh, But it did allow me the time and the space to kind of look at all those things about myself that in a more hurried and rushed and busy environment, you know, I didn't necessarily have to look at so in the mountains was was some some about that and reconnecting with nature and reconnecting with my spirituality and then me and now is another song on the new album that is about a similar solitude but more of a relationship solitude um and i wrote it obviously before the pandemic, but it, it's pretty applicable, which is interesting. (laughs) Oh, no, I was going to say, um, um, I only wanted, I'm only going to be able to, uh, play one of the two and I picked in the mountains just simply because it's a more beautiful song, but that does not stop me. Oh, I, I cannot help but getting into that one. It's just, Oh, so pretty. Oh, um, thanks. But that will not stop me from um, from uh, quoting me and now. But uh, first up, I just want to ask, do you think that um, that going through what we're going through right now and having to quarantine just with the family is going to produce a few more uh, sparrows that turn into eagles? Oh, sure. Yes, definitely, definitely. Well, not children, but <laughs> I hope that's not what you meant. No, um, but songs, if that's what you mean, or just things that are maybe small that are going to blossom into bigger things um, or take new shape. Definitely. I meant, I meant people blossom it. I meant people blossoming, but okay. – um, um, yes. Oh, people um, in general. Yes, I do. I, oh, sure. <laughs> Although I certainly would not rule out babies being born as a result of all this time together. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I already know songwriters are seizing on the opportunity to get some work done. Sure. Yes. Everybody is, for sure. 
yeah, it's a it's a time a, a time of challenge that we've never seen. Um, that I think started out very scary and continues to be scary. But as we've settled in, I think there's a lot of positives that will come out of it. And personally speaking, um, the time with my kids, albeit challenging at times because it's so much time, um, I am grateful very grateful for it and it's the it's it's time that I wished before that I had more of so I'm trying to see that as a real positive and trying to take this challenge as a learning experience to move forward you know with every part of my life so yeah more easels yes and I have to just quote the last few the last uh, paragraph of me and now is life a lesson okay. is love a cure is it all an impression or something we learn only god completes me and he says be still why is it so hard to try and see how that feels it's just me and now it's just me and now hmm. um ha- so how did you know that this was coming <laughs> The record or the pandemic? <laughs> the, the pandemic. How did you write those lines about the pandemic before it happened? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Um, no, I wrote it about my own life. Um, I did. I wrote about my own life. It's just a coincidence. So it's kind of eerie. But, no, I, 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 in the last two years, I've, lived alone for the first time in my life and I'm you know in my early 40s so I've lived a long life always co-inhabiting with someone and um, in the last two years you know when I don't have my kids um, I've been alone for the first time and that's what that song stems from it's now very applicable Yes, yes, you definitely have to write in another song about everyone being better and the world being back on track. And, you know, when you there release you that, <laughs> you'll have, you'll have solved the problem. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not actually blaming you for all this, but, um, <laughs> yes, um, when I pick what, what albums to, uh, to play, to interview, to talk about on this show, I look for ones that really strike, you know, they're not just good albums, but they sort of speak to me and, Mm -hmm. you know, it can be, you know, one artist can speak to me so directly at one point and then not at another, but this one, this one spoke to me directly because it is this, um, is in large part this inner journey and you know i feel like everyone is uh now that they're no longer able to choose outer journeys they're mm-hmm. uh they're faced with inner journeys right now and i found it very helpful well i love to hear that yeah it's amazing how much we fill our time when we're allowed to um with all the things you know that keep us busy and all of a sudden that's all come to a halt so it does force people to spend time with themselves um and that's what I was doing a couple of years ago up until this point and um it's it's really interesting to see how um other folks friends and family are are going through that right now sort of but by um out of necessity not really of their own choosing so it's challenging for a lot of people i don't know how it's been for you but um it's 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 challenging sort of like wait a minute i wasn't ready for this this wasn't <laughs> um the time for me to be doing this, but I hope that it's that it's been positive for you in some ways that you're you're seeing some positive growth. 
Oh, I mean, in terms of being at home, cooking, you know, yeah. relaxing, it's really nice. And, like, if you took okay. away that element of existential dread and yeah. fear of death, it would just be right. the fantastic idea. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's always looming around the corner. So it's interesting. It's, yeah. Uh, it is. And then... You know, you have that uh, pyramid of psychological needs, and uh, when when your lower needs are met, you can really start diving into those higher needs. But right now, right, right now, the lower needs are looking a little unstable. So maybe you don't quite have the energy to address it, even though you have the the time to address it right now. So it really is right. a sort of a a mixed bag. The uh, I mean. The the regular world is a mixed bag too, just uh, different elements. Exactly. Yep. You're right. All right, let's take a break, and um, we'll be back to we'll be back to uh, talk about a couple other tracks on the album, including the title track, "Modern Appalachia," right here with uh, Sarah Siskin on Country Pocket on WUSB.